All my life, I've been trying to chase the ultimate gem black opal, and I think we've found it. I'm Justin, and this is Black Opal Direct. My family have been teaching and exploring opal since 1961. Click the subscribe button and enjoy as we dive into the best gem in the world, black opal. When I, was a, when I was a kid, my dad took me up to a place where he used to live when he came in 1961. And he, uh, he showed me this old shack of a shed. And um, that's where he used to walk out every day into the uh, mining fields with his candle and his pick. And he used to go underground looking for opal. Now, he found a few stones here and there, but all these years have gone by and we've been searching for the ultimate gem and never found it. I actually, a, a friend of my dad's, when they went to Lightning Ridge in 1961, they came together and this man, who was one of my dad's great friends, found this opal only one to two years ago. And you would not believe where he found the opal. Only six months ago, this man came to me with a gem that knocked my socks off. This has got to be one of the best gem black opals I've ever seen in my life. And the story is quite unbelievable that he found this opal underneath very close to underneath where my father lived in the shed in 1961. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I mean, where you'd searching, we were used to mine at the Cookeran and out at the Grawan and, you know, so many different fields. And uh, the ultimate gem had been sitting underneath where my dad lived all this time. I um, had to buy this stone. It was an absolute eye-opener for me when I first saw it. Um, and, and when I saw, saw the opal miner that came in, actually, I didn't recognize him at first. He, uh, he I, it wasn't only until he gave me his business card that I actually realized who he was. And I rang him up afterwards and apologized for not recognizing him because he's been a friend of my dad's for since 1961. It's totally amazing. So this gem, it's a 10.56 carat, beautiful high domed red blue gem. Now there is not many of those that have ever come out of the ground with color like this. This is really a once in a lifetime stone that we will never see again. What I find amazing is that it was hiding underneath my dad's shed that he lived in in 1961. That just blows my mind. <laughs> and uh, so when this opal came across my hands, I, I had to own it. There was, there was no choice in the matter. I had to buy it um, because it meant so much. It not only came from an area where my dad used to use a pick and candle, but it came from a person that he knew really well um, back in 61 when he was here mining. And the ultimate gem has now arrived.